Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Stars, Queen of Love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of Cancer. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Cancers. Next week is going to be Leo. It's your last week to celebrate. The moon will travel in the sign of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Fasten your seat bell, everybody. This is a kind of week that will keep us on our toes. Monday, Venus, planet of love, makes a square. I mean, the bad aspect to the planet Neptune, planet of dreams, that can also cause a little confusion in love, in career, in finances, in governmental affairs. Very important to be true to yourself, to be true to other people. That's the key. Tuesday, loving Venus moves to a trine. That means a good aspect to lucky Jupiter. That sort of make up a, a, us with an open heart. It gives us a loving attitude, a forgiving tendency, but also with a need to be, maybe to be more free, not inclined to commit. It's like the, 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 the cage of love has to be open, you know, wide open with the windows open in order for people to be free, to be happy, you know, naturally, not what under pressure. So it's not a week to be inclined to commit, but it's a week to still have fun and to really uh, hair, uh, let your hair down and enjoy life to the fullest and also to be in good company. So whoever makes you happy, spend time with them. And the people who don't, walk away. It would be very wise also for all of us to double check if certain people or situations are good enough and worthy of us in our life. Some people they take or, or they don't give back. Some people they give too much and they don't know how to receive. So try to, let's all try this week to realize what kind of relationship do we have and what is the ones you want to keep and the ones you want to let go. So the one who are real friends, real loving people, you keep if not, bye-bye. Uranus planet of shock, of change, will make two squares this week. The first one on Monday with Mars planet of war, inviting us to be very cautious on the road, to be prudent when we drive, when we do things, to do things slowly. And that also is true for love and in career and in finances. On Wednesday, Mercury planet of communication will also try and make a beautiful aspect with white Saturn, which will help us to keep things under control somewhat. So this week is sort of like challenging, but we have the ability and the opportunity to show how fabulous we are and how invincible and loving and forgiving we are, but also smart to protect our energy like a hawk. On Thursday, wild Uranus will make its second square, bad aspect to the sensitive cancer sun, indicating a major checkup. So there's gonna be something happening in the news again with the government, but it's all good. I told you, the light is exposing more dark in order to heal the dark and bring it into light. So it could also happen in our personal life, some shocks or some revelation or things that allow you to go a little bit further in your life and maybe liberate you from some obsession that is taking too much of your energy. On Thursday, big, big news. Wow, mellow Mars, sentimental, sensitive Mars in the sign of Cancer will move to fiery, glamorous, big-hearted Leo for the next six weeks. That's extraordinary. Bringing healing to many, the possibility to fall in love for the single people, to make up if you were separated and maybe you could get back together. A general atmosphere of excitement, a strong desire also for beauty, for luxury, for enjoying life, for passion in our lives is very, very strong. So let it be, let it be. My advice, uh, no matter what you do, for the next two weeks, leave your ego out of the way. Just your ego self in the morning, just put it out of the door and say, I'm just gonna follow my heart and my spirit and my soul, and I will appreciate everything I have, and I will just dance and dance with life. It's only by following our heart, okay? Love is the answer, that we will be happy and in peace and successful in eternity. Cancer, Cancer, happy birthday to you. Celebrate every day this week because it's your last week. 
you are celebrating, are you? Every day this week, you have to, I am, and thank you very much for everybody, all your beautiful presents and beautiful cards, I love it. I had a terrific, terrific, very touching at the heart birthday. Mars, planet of energy, in your sign, entering your financial sector midweek, will bring you confidence, healing, and a lot of creativity. A good time to take care of details and responsibilities and keep on keeping on. You know in your heart of heart that rewards, healing is on the way. At work, your creativity flows. Take the time to reflect on your goals and make sure that they represent the true self of who you are. Health-wise, you're doing better and better. Just keep doing your exercise, get, get the therapy, Listen to the doctor, whatever you're doing, healing is definitely on the way. On the weekend, go out and meet people, maybe in your community. Share who you are with others. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers, 9 and 36. Leo, woo hoo hoo your birthday is coming up next week. Are you getting excited? Are you getting all your goldy, beautiful jewelry out? You should. Get ready for a very satisfying week, especially financially and in business and also with special friends. Mars. Entering your sign, bring charisma, royalty, recognition. Your career situation is better and better and pushing you in a new direction. I mean, you could get a promotion, who knows, but it's good. And if you're looking for a job, it's real good. Your leadership qualities are unbelievably strong. A good time to ask for a raise, a promotion, or a bonus, or something you deserve. Knock, knock, who's there? You asking and receiving. Take care of your responsibilities, but don't neglect your family and loved ones and special friends. Make yourself and loved ones happy this week. On the weekend, a close friend will definitely hold your hand and say thank you, I love you, your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, one and 10, ta-da! Virgo, Mars entering your spiritual sector brings you awareness and a strong spiritual sense and values about your worth, about your appearance. Your thoughts and feelings are very much in zinc and it feels good. You're very happy where you are in your life. Hope is definitely in the air and love especially. There could be some deep questions about your personal life, but you are definitely in control and the master of your destiny. Helping other people is very rewarding on the weekend. Open your heart, share, and people will say thank you for being there. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Libra, Mars entering your social sector brings magnetism, clarity of mind, and confidence. A good time to share your thoughts and feelings with friends, loved ones, family. The focus is also on working on your own thing and somehow behind the scenes. Don't say it all. Keep your cards to your chest and also listen to other people what they say. It's also a good time to really go to the gym, to go to the spa, to recharge your batteries. On the weekend, meditate, explore your spiritual side, somehow connect to the spirit of nature, and why don't you hug trees? Talk to the trees, they're magical. They are full of spirit. Gemini, Leo, and Virgo care, your magical color lilac, lucky numbers three and 21. Scorpio, Mars, your ruler entering your career sector, make you very tenacious, ambitious, smart. Group activities make you shine. You could also be offered a nice new project to make more money or to use your talents. Make sure that's exactly what you want before accepting them. Think it twice. The spotlight is on making changes and reinventing your life in all ways, especially health-wise. Love needs your attention also. You, you could also be getting a visit for someone you haven't seen for a long time, or you could decide to visit somebody, something like that. On the weekend, it is very, very adventurous and exciting in all ways. So enjoy and dance with life. Your magical color, red lucky numbers, 4 and 13. Sagittarius, Mars entering your karmic sector gives you power, optimism, and strong leadership. You have all the tools you need to succeed. Are you using them? Co-workers appreciate you, creativity, and also somehow you're able to really go beyond what you have created before. The focus is also public appearances, participating in some group activities, doing something in your neighborhood, and people will applaud you for this, charity maybe. A new contact can open new doors for you, so just check it out. So whoever you meet this week may have a gift for you. Keep your personal and professional life separate. It's very important on the weekend. Romance will make you dream in a sensual way. Your magical color, lavender, like numbers 5 and 23. Capricorn, dear little ghost, you feel good and optimistic this week. Wow, what a change. 
that that's a beautiful full moon and your sign made last, last week. Mars entering your shared resources sector make you quite generous of heart, free-spirited, creative, planning a trip, signing up for a seminar or a class to have fun or to learn things is definitely in the stars and get ready for the new. That's what's happening. In love, take initiative. Show up, especially if you're a man. If you're a girl, well, charm the heck out of the man. Artistic and publishing projects are favored. On the weekend, a little flirting could go a long way. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers 6 and 15. Ta da! Aquarius, Mars entering your relationship sector, make you very popular, very magnetic. This is the time to reflect on your relationships, especially when it comes to shared resources and money. Do you have a fair deal? Are you receiving as much as you give? You are a giver, so make sure that the deal is fair to you. At work, you're very busy like a bee and it pays off a lot. Family issues could be on your mind, but you're doing good. Shared resources also could be taken care of. That means your money and other people's money. You may have to negotiate something this week. On the weekend, it takes two to tango, especially in love. Express your needs clearly. You want a fair deal or bye-bye. Your magical color turquoise lucky numbers 7 and 43. Pisces, Mars entering your work sector makes you very aware, wise and practical, a good time to take care of your health, surround yourself with positive people only. You feel very strong, invincible, and eager to make things happen, and everything to do with higher education, studies, business negotiation, public relations, all favored in love, ask questions, get the needed information that you need to make an important, very important decision. If you're thinking long term, look it through before you decide. On the weekend, allow yourself to dream in colors. You're allowed, you're a Pisces. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers 8 and 26. Aries, Mars, your planet, entering your creative sector, brings you peace of mind, romance, and more joy in your life. A good time to really take care of business and sort of recognize the great work that co-workers have been doing and all the help you've been receiving. In career, teamwork brings best results. Travel, research, investment, falling in love, all favorite this week. And remember that in love, it's where you get your joy, it's in the present. That's why it's called the present. So don't waste your energy on the past and the future. Remember that you create your, your happiness today. Okay, your happiness of tomorrow, it's all happening today. On the weekend, you should share your blessings with other people. And truly, your new attitude makes make many people happy. If you're single, you could meet somebody really nice. Your magical color, orange, lucky like numbers, 6 and 42. Taurus, Mars entering your home sector brings intuition, creativity. Your artistic side is very strong and alive. You get along very well with your family and you attract like-minded friends and allies in personal and also in career life. In career, it's a good time to analyze your present situation and make strategies of how you could make even more money grow and promote your talents and products. Everything to do with real estate is favor, investment, anything to do with uh, investing in different currencies like a bitcoin and stuff like that. There's something you should put your nose into this. On the weekend, tenderness smiles at you, so smile right back. Your magical color is green, mm, like money. Your lucky number is 7 and 43. Gemini's, Mars entering your communication sector make you very charming, brilliant, open-minded, a good time to expand your social circle, make new friends, new contacts. In career, you're moving forward. You could get a green light in a special project, a phone call, an email. In love, you feel closer to loved ones and you could invite, you could be invited or you could invite somebody for a wedding or a baby shower or a friend reunion or something like that. In love, it's time to trust and to have faith in yourself and others. Trust. On the weekend, you feel absolutely appreciated. Your best signs are Taurus, Cancers, and Libra. Your magical color, yellow lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Ta-da! And now here's your wizard affirmation of this wonderful week. You are too vulnerable, says the heart. You are here for a reason, said, says the mind. I've got your back, says the soul. Just think about this. It's so true. I love you. I kiss you. Enjoy the summer. And it's happy birthday, Leo's next week. Ha ha. Royalty awaits. Bye.